Hi, um, good afternoon. This is um, your guy, your host himself, DLG Reppin. And um, I'm in Germany, Berlin Airport, in a place called Tegel. Um, those that are fluent in German, um, regardless of your nationality or origin, yeah, um, you can um, teach me how to pronounce that um, word in Tegel. It's spelled Tango Echo Garage Echo Lima. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, I'm in my Arsenal shirt. Proud to be in my Arsenal shirt. FA Cup winners, or should I say FA Cup champions, kings of the FA Cup. But I'm going to get into my footballing context. Um, Wolverhampton Wanderers and ring back and Sp Spanish international, I think, or on the brink of Spanish, or I think he's Spanish international. Goes by the name of Johnny. He sustained... Um, Crucial um, knee um, ligament, which could keep him out for months, minimum three, four, maybe six months maximum. It might be even more than six months. I'm no doctor, so I can't tell when he's going to come back. Um, another one um, involving Maurizio Sarri. I'm shocked at his own sacking. He's had one season at Juventus, and um, his sacking has come as a shock. And um, Moving on into my last bit of news. Um, now, Mikel Arteta, according to the Daily Mail, written by John Cross, don't believe everything that John Cross writes, that writes, sorry. Everything that comes out of his mouth, never that accurate, nine times out of ten. Well, he's, he's written an article about uh, Mikel Arteta having a row with the board of directors. Now, if this is, happens to be true, I'm not saying I'll take back what I, I, I've just said about um, John Cross, but if this happens to be true, then it wouldn't surprise me. Because if, if that is the concrete um, truth of the story, then for me, it's not just Arteta that would be pissed off. It's millions of Arsenal fans that would be pissed off. And do excuse my language um, in advance for those ladies to the gentlemen to the youth to the boys to the girls that are watching yeah so I'm going to go into my first bit of news and that's um, Maurizio um, Sarri now he was um, he wasn't sacked at um, Chelsea I remember he resigned from Chelsea after their Euro um, Europa League um, triumphant and convincing um, victory over Arsenal in a 4-1 win that game saw Eden Hazard play his last game for the club and he scored two goals and he was the manager that that, that evening and um, for me it was disappointing and disheartening for Chelsea it was um, a joyous joyful moment because it took them into the Champions League and last night they were <laughs> violated by Bayern um, violate Munich and let's be real they violate most teams on the planet and that's the fact and that's the truth, actually. For me, um, Maurizio Sarri, he won the um, Serie A Scudetto, but um, only by a point. Maybe, for all I know, the football wasn't great. The tactical, the, 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 the tactical setup of the team wasn't great. Maybe training was not enjoyable. Maybe I think the players had turned against him, meaning that they weren't playing for him. And I also feel that... Um, that getting knocked out by Leon, it might have prompted them, or it might have been an excuse either way, to say, you know what, we're going to sack this man. And sack him they did. And um, it's never a nice thing to be sacked. I can tell you that from a life um, point experience. It's never a nice thing to be sacked. However, it is the case. And um, as soon as I'm sorry he was sacked, believe it or not, Andre Pirlo has been, well, he was appointed the head coach of Juventus on a long-term contract, I believe. I am not entirely sure, but um, any Juventus fans um, that know of the um, length of the contract, yeah, you can get back to me and let's um, take it from there. And when I say take it from there, leave it in the comment section below. But that is a surprise appointment because Simone Inzaghi of Lazio and uh, Mauricio Pochettino were both heavily linked with the job. 
but within hours, um, Andre Pelo, ex um, Inter Milan and AC Milan midfielder, gets the job, and ex um, Juventus midfielder, he gets the um, yeah, he gets the job. I mean, great midfield player in his time, and he mastermind um, his position as a deep line midfield player, good passer of the ball. Always had an eye for a great pass. And as a manager, it's um, on, it's it's walking into the unknown for him. And if I'm a Juventus fan, I'll be extremely sceptical. But the main, the, I think the minimum is winning the Scudetto. The Scudetto. That's all they ever do. And I would expect um, Juventus to be s- successful in that. But again, it is the minimum requirement. I think they want the Champions League. And they've appointed a manager with little experience. I mean, I could have got that wrong. Um, Juventus fans, if you want to get in touch with me, then drop it in the comments section below and let's um, take it from there. If you think that he is the right appointment, again, let's um, have a conversation in my comment section below. Um, Juventus fans, football fans, smash the thumbs up like button and do remember to subscribe to my channel, yeah? That's DLG Repping. Smash that subscribe button. Hard, left, right and centre galore. Right, um, in other news, um, back in England, Wolverhampton Wanderers um, wing-back um, Johnny has um, sustained cruciate, uh, cruciate... can't even pronounce that word. Cruciate knee ligament injury. Now, I don't think um, Nino Espirito Santo has come out and said... Um, how long he, he expects his um, wing back to be out for but for me I can only assume that he'll be out for months that puts him out for the start of the season and um, I think the injury was sustained against um, Olympiacos in the game if I'm mistaken but if I'm wrong then um, come into my se- comment section below and um, tell me how and when the injury happened Wolverhampton Wanderers fans you're more than welcome to come onto this platform yeah just like you like you and all football fans around the world are more than welcome to smash the thumbs up like button and do subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing you um, truthful um, and factful um, con- um, football context and only f- truthful and factful football context only but um, for me he's a consistent performer in the defence that involves the back three. He plays as the left wing back or right wing back, and um, he does give his all. He gives at least a, a minimum six and a half to seven out of ten, week in, week out. And um, I think for me, he's um, one of those unsung heroes that um, goes unnoticed. But for me, he does a a reasonable job week in week out and um, I think um, for Wolves fans these players his teammates management I think they'll be waiting anxiously to um, find out how long he'll be out for because he will be a, he will be a big miss for me he will be a big miss and I've seen a lot of him so all I can say is to Johnny um, get well soon and um, we we'll like like any other football fan in the world we we'll like we look forward to seeing you back in the Premier League right uh, moving on to my last bit of news and that's um, my manager Mikel Arteta now for me as I said earlier John Cross has written an article it must be John Cross or someone that some, someone that he's associated with he's come up with an article that Arteta's had a route over transfers and um, signing a uh, signing a particular player that was against his wishes. Now, if I'm manager and I want to sign a player or certain players that I want to sign, I don't want you signing players that I don't want to manage. Which means that's going to cause conflict. But I'm hoping this this is article is a load of nonsense, complete load of nonsense. Because all we want to do is go into next season with a clear mind and start the season from fresh we don't need no in political disturbance knowing that our board and our tets are not getting on we don't need that i just hope this um, story isn't true 
I just hope if Arteta wants the players that he wants, then your job as the board of directors is to back him, Cronky, and your sports enterprise called KSE. Your job is to back your manager. He has publicly said that when he first met up with you in a meeting, he said that he wants to he wants to have the final say on who he signs and who he sells. Now I'm hearing another story about Maitland Niles, whose first meet of Arteta at the beginning wasn't the greatest. But he's turned it around and since time has gone by, him and um Mikel Arteta seem to um, get a lot, seem to um, come to an understanding, so they're getting along better. But for the likes, for the life of me, why is Mate Lenar's been linked with a move against Arteta's wishes? I wish someone can come out, come on here, and give me some form of an answer. You know, I'm sick and tired to death of this board, this complete monstrosity that keeps following within our club our football club that we as fans love and it's peeing me off abundantly we go into the summer wanting to strengthen now all I heard during yesterday was good news on Coutinho agreeing personal terms we assume that Arteta, or we want to be, we want to be assured, Mikel Arteta, that you want this player, and William, we want to be assured if you want him or not, and that goes for Coutinho as well, should I say? And I know you assured us that you would love to sign a Thomas Partey in our midfield. You've assured us, and you assured us that he, we want, we want a defender. So, just come out of here and publicly. Keep us informed with what's going on with the board. Only you can say it from the horse's mouth. I don't want to hear John Cross writing anything. Because nine times out of ten, it's complete BS. Complete BS. And I want to go into the summer, as an Arsenal fan, as happy as possible. So, yet again, that's my little rant over the situation at the top of our club. Out of any football club. But it's always ours that stands out the worst and we've got plans to finish above eight to push on to the top four we've got plans to succeed and Arteta's got them plans as well and like he said at the beginning of, of, um, of his reign those Arsenal players that don't work hard you're not playing those Arsenal players that don't want to play for the club you will not be playing for the club ever again let that be a warning whether you Arsenal players are watching this or not, let that be a warning. So anyway, end of this um, video. I'm going to wrap this up and say yet again, ladies, the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls and the youth, children, etc. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with me. And thank you for listening. Yet again, I will wish you a good day and um, be happy in what you're doing. In your good day. Once again, I'll give you peace, love, and uh, blessing again, yeah? So, enough respect, yeah? From your host, your guy himself, DLG Repping. I'm out of here until I get back to England. London, England, that is. Remember that, yeah? Latest.